Anishinaabe people are more than statistics. Our stories are complex. They are more layered than an archival vault celebrating Western histories. Thank you for uh, sharing your community, uh, sharing your stories, uh, but mostly thank you for sharing your hope for the future. It just makes me really proud when I see our own people building that road. I just wish that we had freedom road and, uh, and clean water to drink under the taps. Daily life without access to clean water is a struggle that we live with every day. Oh. <laughs> water is life. All we want in return is life. That's all we're asking for. As an elder, um, I'm having a hard time now, like to cross on the ice. It's a crisis sometimes to cross that lake. There's always that sense of isolation with the, the ferry. No one wants to live on a curfew. This is about getting home safely, like everybody else in Canada. I think it's easy to want to like just move on. We also need to look at the past and we need to look at the truth. It's the iconic story of displacement and appropriation by settler Canada of an indigenous community. 